Hey y'all, I'm coming to you from the kitchen and tonight we are going to do a special live on how to do the, I'll wait, because I know I start early and people didn't get the ding or the notification or the, you know, the zing, 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 and I'm never on time. So I'm sure people thought that I meant show van time. So I said that I was going to be five minutes and I'm sure people didn't think I meant five minutes. So I'm going to wait for a second and then I'm going to. So give me a thumbs up if you are so proud that I said five minutes and I meant it because I'm really on time tonight. All right. So and now let me get my other thing because I forgot it already. Um. I'm so proud. I'm on time. I'm on time. All right. No show band time tonight. I'm really legit on time. Okay. So, and I still have to post another video tonight. So, everybody just be so proud that I'm on time. All right. So, a lot of people have been wondering how to do the drip method on a cup and how to do um, the big drips um, down a cup. So, that's what I'm going to learn you tonight so this is what we're doing is how to do the drips um, down a cup and how to um, make it look and how to make sure that the epoxy sticks and so on and so forth um, so I prepped my cups already um, this is uh, mica under an epoxy cup this was a cup that was painted white and then I used some mica um, splats underneath it so it kind of looks all painted and wonky and then this one is a spray painted cup with some glitter that was white glitter that we did an experiment on that turn, um, changed colors and I didn't know what I was going to necessarily do with it. So we're going to do the drips down here and I already have my epoxy mixed um, because you have to let it sit for a little bit. So, but I'm going to tell you how to do your epoxy because I, I don't know how to do all the fancy dancy video equipment. Stuff where you like time lapse it and do all the like and I figured you didn't want to sit here and stare at me for 30 minutes um, while the epoxy sat and hardened and all that crap so I just mixed it a little bit already but you're gonna use equal parts um, I probably mixed way too much which is fine I'd rather have too much than not enough um, so I have I use pro marine epoxy we're going to put all the links for all the stuff that you're going to need in the description afterwards. So that's where you're going to look. Okay. So you're going to, I already mixed my epoxy and I'm going to put it in these cups because I'm going to dye it um, with some paint and some mica. So this is the paint colors that I'm choosing. So I'm just going to put a little bit in each cup and kind of let it get to the consistency and the thickness that I want it to be. I used way too much epoxy. But like I said, I would rather have way too much than not enough. I can always put it in a mold or something. Um, I can always put it in a mold and, um, and let it um, get hot. So that's fine. All right. So I'm using Color Shift Paint which is like a metallic -y paint and it's real pretty. It's going to thicken up the epoxy and it's also going to make it kind of a little bit different of a consistency. It's going to change its chemical balance a little bit and I'm kind of shaking my paint because it's been a while since I've used it. So I want to make sure that the metallicness in the paint is real good, but this is a good metallic paint to um, dye your epoxy and it gives it a good thick color. So you just use like a little, not like a, but a the whole tongue. Yeah, like, never mind. I'm not going to say it. Uh -oh. So, and I use these little paddle stirrers that were given freely at a hotel, at the waffle making station. But you can um, get them from Amazon and I, we'll put the link in the description. And what this is going to do is it's definitely going to thicken 
up your epoxy. See how it's like just oozing it? But you're also going to wait a little bit just for a couple minutes because once this paint gets in there, it's going to thicken it up a little bit. And you're going to want to scrape the sides and all that stuff and get all up in there. And you're going to want to make sure that you mix it really well because you don't want your paint and your epoxy to separate. So you really want to kind of get in there and get all up on the sides, all up in there, and make sure that it gets really kind of thick, okay? And then just let it sit. And if that's not the color you want, just put a little bit more paint. You'd rather have it too, I'd rather have it too thick than not thick enough. Um, you can always add more epoxy to thin it out, but I'm going to leave that in there. And then this green, this yellow is flat. I don't have like a shiny yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this flat yellow, which is just regular old craft paint. And then I'm going to add some shimmery mica. This is from Magic Moon Micas. So it's like a shimmery white mica, which is going to turn this yellow to shimmery yellow. Okay. So I feel like all oh, Bill Nye the Science Guy, all fancy dancy with my stuff. My kids would be like, it's science. So you just, you just give it a whole, not a, but a, the whole thing. Sound effects make it, make it magical. And you take your little poop containers and just put a little, little spoonful, maybe a little more if you want it, if you want a super shimmery, okay? And these little containers you buy from Amazon too. That's what I put all my micas in. And then you just swizzle it around. And it makes it nice and shiny. You might have to add more micas to it. I will, because that's not shimmery enough. So let me add a little bit more. Because that wasn't enough. That's not sparkly enough. I want it to look like a unicorn farted in my yellow. So I'm going to just make it as sparkly as I want. And if it makes it, oh, now it looks like a unicorn farted on me. Um, if it makes it too thick, like too pasty, like this. Oh my gosh, this is almost Chauvin string theory consistency. All right, if it makes it too thick like this, then what you do is you just add a little bit more epoxy to your cup. This is totally Chauvin string theory. Just letting you know. For those of you who were with me that day where we made a mistake and then we tried to duplicate it and never could. Oh my God, y'all. We might be rethinking this whole video. I'm just saying. Chauvin string theory. gonna catch on I'm just telling you okay y'all this I'm serious we might just revamp we might revamp show answering theory it's gonna catch on all right that's better so then you just kind of mix it Make sure it gets all gooey. Make sure it's the consistency you want. I still think we should do it. All right. And make sure it's thick, but not too thick. So that'll drip quite nicely. I think this one's not thick enough. Uh, nope, that's perfect. And some people say, wait a long time. Well, if you use the right amount of paint and you use the right amount of epoxy, then you don't have to wait a long time. So you just kind of sit here and we'll have a staring contest. Ready? One, two, three, go. You blinked. You lost. Thumbs up if you blinked, for real. Come on, thumbs up if you, if you blinked. You did, I saw you. Okay. So you just keep your other epoxy on hand and you just keep a little stirrer in there and you stir it for if you're going to do something else with it. 
Okay. Which I'm going to try and do something else with it. All right. And this is how you do the drips. I might need a different box of spray. All right, so you take a regular popsicle stick and going, you're gonna go up, okay, in an upward fashion. So you're gonna go up like this. And of course, my my string theory. All right, and see how it's dripping. So you want to go up the cup, not down, because if you go down, then it's going to scrape it the wrong way. Okay? So, I'm going to alternate green and yellow. And I know this is where, in some videos, the fancy pantsy people with, like, fancy pantsy videos, they do, like, the time lapse stuff. But I don't have all that crazy stuff. So we're just going to sit here and become best friends and y'all going to watch as I do this for the first time because this is fun and I need a little bit more of like epoxy in there because this is, this is the Chauvin string theory. Look, you see? So my, this epoxy is too thick. So you just add a little bit more of your original set of epoxy until it kind of thins out a little bit. That's why you don't use all of your epoxy at first. Because if it's too thick, it's going to make that string. And then you're going to have a hard time. So you just add a little bit more as it goes. And then if you add too much, you just add more paint and then you just get the right consistency. Um, if you think, well, what's the right, like, what's the real formula? Well, you see, there's not really, like, really a formula formula because you figure it out as you go. There we go. All right. So then you just go up. That's what makes the drip. And then you get it off your stick, and it's just going to start to drip. Ta-da! Okay, that was the first time I did it, and I didn't really know if it was going to work. So I'm glad I did because... I didn't really know if it was going to work or not because I saw this lady doing it and I'm like, I don't know um, if that's going to work or not. And it did. So, there we go, dripping. And you know, if you're dripping in the snow, you want to be very careful. And you're just going to drip up the edge. And pull down a little bit. You want to be careful when you're dripping in the snow. And so, you know, just then drip. And if you want to put a decal on or anything like that, you want to do that in between this. Meaning, like, if I wanted to put a decal on, I'd want to do that before you do your drips. Or after, depending on how thick your drips are going to be. Okay, but this is just... Me showing you how to drip it. No, oh, no, that's not gonna work. Hold on. So you're gonna take the pattern. If you want bigger drips, then use a bigger popsicle stick. Okay. Or see, and it's gonna. Ha ha! That's a good one. And it's gonna. Ha ha! That's so gonna do a good one. And the heavier the drip. I'm sure the more it'll drip down. Or the bigger puddle that you get. Well, this is kind of fun. The more it'll drip down. So if you put your space too big, then you just go and you put a bigger drip line. And then ta-da! And it'll just kind of look. So if you like our baker, if you're a master baker, <laughs> You can make it look like a cupcake. You can make it look like blood. You can make it look like whatever. You can make it look like crayons. And a lady in my group is the one who inspired me for this cup. And for the life of me, her name is preceding me. Ugh. 
because my memory is not the best these days. Um, but she did this amazing um, crayon inspired cup and it was beautiful. And as soon as I can think of her name, um, it was absolutely gorgeous. And so I asked her if I could please um, use her idea and do a cup a video to show it off because there's not a lot of videos with this technique showing off how to do the drips. And she said, sure. So this is how, and see, here's the drips. And then you could just go by and clean out these little string parts right here. But here's the drippage. And then you just let it drip overnight. And you let it sit for a good long time, like 12 hours, just like you would let regular epoxy cure so that it goes um, the right way. And you can go back and forth, back and forth. However, I still think I would probably need a little bit more um, epoxy in um, my yellow so that it's not quite so stringy. But... Lo and behold, this is looking pretty, pretty snazzy, I'll tell you. I could probably use a little bit of extra green, but I might have to make some extra green, but that's okay, I will. Uh, that drip is going to be hurting for something, but we'll figure it out. So you're just going to go along the edges of it and just drip it kind of like your never mind I can't say that on YouTube either kind of like your never mind I can't say that on YouTube either there's a lot of things I can't say on YouTube but just know that they're really dirty and really funny and you just go up in there and it just drips on down um like I said if your epoxy is getting too hard you just add a little bit more moisture to the mix. And as it sets, like as you take a little bit of time to do this, it's going to get harder and it's going to get more set. So you're going to have to work either kind of fast um, if you added a lot to it or you're going to have to work, um, you're going to have to not add as much paint to it. Um, so that it's not quite so string theory and so that it actually drips instead of like strings down and then if you get some strings you just take your glove take your spots wipe it off with a glove wipe it off with a baby wipe and then you clean your cup off you can always clean it up while it's still wet <clears throat> not even gonna say it because I'm sure you're thinking it just like I am <laughs> and so and granted it's not the most perfect cup but number one first one I'm doing and number two it's dripping it's not supposed to be like these perfect little driplets um it's drips so and if you get some on the inside of your cup like I just did then you clean your cup on the inside with acetone or um alcohol or whatever you um or normally would clean your cup with and that worked out beautifully because that was just enough so there's your green and gold drip cup and it's gonna drip more obviously because there's this thing it's called gravity and it'll start pulling it down a little bit kind of like your boobs and your faces but so I did that one for you I don't know uh, where my because I can't put it upside down so uh, let me put it give me a second all right and I'm gonna do the yellow on this one but I am gonna have to add a little bit more epoxy here so that it is more drippy than stringy. 
So like I said, if it sets too much, or it's too stringy, or it's too thick, or it's too whatever, you just, to where it's not quite so thick, you just add a little bit more epoxy. You wanna make sure that you can kind of loosen it up and kind of get that gooeyness back. Sunshine, don't you dare go up there. My dog is dying to go up where my son is because he knows he has snaps. Okay, so now it's a little bit more gooey. See how it kind of rolls off the popsicle stick a little bit more? So you just go like that. You want to clean off the back end so it doesn't drip any the wrong way. And you want to just go the front way. And see how it starts to drip. And you want to just keep on dipping and dripping. Dipping and dripping. Kind of like some, never mind. Like first dates. Um, <laughs> I'm trying. This is a really hard one not to be dirty. And, um, oh, this is really pretty. I know sunshine is in the den. Tell her, sunshine, come sit. This one looks perfect. So you just drip it down. And it'll start to ooze and goo and all those things. And you just pull up, pull down, and get your drip off. And the more you have on your stick, clearly, the bigger the drip. I'm getting the hang of it now, Junior. Mom, Sir. I, I said that, Is there food up there, Bubba Love? Okay. My dog and my son. Mortal enemies. And so you also want to be careful that... Okay. But my glitter's up there. Well, make sure she doesn't eat my mama's glitter. Because then the world will end. <laughs> you want to make sure that if you have a decal, you don't put too much glitter. You don't put too much drippage because then it'll drip over your decal. Okay? So I did learn that a little bit today. Um, that you don't want your drip to be too much that it drips over your decal. Okay? So you just want to dip, scrape the back. And you want it to be kind of like a, just a quick, and like I said, if it gets on the inside of your cup, you just acetone it, that acetone though. You just get acetone, clean off the inside of your cup, and go. And then go the next one. There we go. And so, sunshine! Sorry, my dog. My son will freak out if my dog is in the other room, so I have to call my dog. I apologize. And if your drips are too much for color TV, meaning they're too far, you just get them, but you know, dripping is dripping, so some of them will be long, some of them will be short, just like your high school boyfriends, whatever. Sunshine! Come on, girl! So, and there is how to do a drip cup. So, that's basically how easy it is to do a drip cup. The hardest thing is going to be waiting um, for the epoxy to dry a little bit and harden up. The way to speed that up, though, is to... Um, add the paint right away um, and to kind of let it set but the paint is going to be what makes the what changes the consistency of your um, changes the consistency of your 
epoxy. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Um, so that's what's going to be what changes it. Some of you have asked how to do um, molds and um, and how to do molds and if I do molds and all that good stuff. Um, one of the best ways to do molds is before you do them, and I'll just do this real quick to show you. Before you do them, the easiest way, in my opinion, a lot of people put the glitter in the mold and then the epoxy on top of the glitter. If I could give you any advice, it would be to mix the glitter in with your epoxy. Okay, mama's coming. That's okay, mama's coming. So, the best way is to take your epoxy and to sprinkle your glitter in the epoxy, okay? And then mix in the glitter. So I'm doing Ruby Slippers from Nola Craft Culture and Trick or Treat Yourself. And it's gonna make the glitter and the epoxy super smooth. So this is Trick or Treat Yourself and Ruby Red Slippers. And it's gonna make that super, super smooth. And it's also gonna keep it from sticking to your mold. And it's also gonna evenly get your glitter throughout your mold. Yes, sir. Okay. No worries. And so you want to start from the top and let it fill and then start from the high point. Okay. She might ruin my tail because that's a so. She won't, but mama's going to come in just a second. If you no, give me three minutes. The debacle of the dog in the Chauvin house. So we're going to just put this just like this. And then after you have your epoxy in your mold, I take it just like cake baking. You're going to take your mold and you're going to kind of hit it like that. Just a little bit. And it kind of makes the bubbles go up a little bit. Okay. You want to make sure that your epoxy is all even. Is all like smooth. Is not overwhelmed. Whatever. And then you're going to take your heat gun. And you're going to pop out the bubbles just a little bit. Because hopefully all the bubbles are right at the top. And you'll see them pop. You don't want to hold it on there. You don't want to like. Flat, you're just flashing it real quick. Kind of like y'all on Bourbon Street. When y'all come here. Y'all think y'all going to get something pretty. And this will also move the epoxy. In the mold. Into it's crevices. Where it needs to be. Okay. And then that mold is done. And you want to just take it and put it to the side. And then I still have epoxy in here. But I'm going to show you what I do with my um, cup to clean it. So give me one second. I'll make this whale, whale, whale. Um, it's a whale bookmark. And my kid will lose his mind. So give me a second. If I make him a little whale bookmark so it's like a whale bookmark um that's absolutely precious so i'm gonna kind of let it settle with big ones like this that have like the holes and the eyes and the tail and all that stuff you really have to be careful not to get it in the wrong hole do you hear that sunshine come on Come get a treat. 
and where there's a hole for the either the keychain or the um, the bookmark placement or whatever, you want to make sure that you don't get it over that. Okay. So either use a toothpick or what have you and kind of make sure that you wheedle, wheedle all the epoxy where it needs to be in its little crevices and its little nook and cranny. Again, you want to make sure that it's like good to go and you want to kind of hit it just a few times, making sure that it moves its little bubbles around or whatever. And you want to make sure that wherever that hole was, get like a Q-tip and make sure that that Q-tip is over it. Okay. And then again, pop it with the bubbles. You just want to flash it. Think of Bourbon Street. You just get in a bead and you get off. Get a bead, get off. Get a bead, get off. Because you're just getting just the bubbles out. And this, and this is going to be the most precious bookmark. Now I'm going to tell you, when you pop your stuff out of the mold, it's going to be still pliable. Even if you leave it in there for 55 days, it's still going to be a little pliable, okay? So you're just going to have to um, be mindful of that, okay? Um, this drip cup, it just dripped a lot, so no big deal, though. First one, Amy Charm. All right, this is how I do my cups when I clean my cups. I take my leftover epoxy and I swirl it all around my cup kind of just like this and I make sure that it kind of gets all around the base you know it's all about that base about that base no travel I get it all around the cup like this okay and then I flip it flip quick to retrieve it when I'm done and I let it sit and I let it dry and then tomorrow I'm gonna squeegee it and I pull it all out and it's the most gratifying thing because it all comes out clean it gets all the glitter out cleans the whole thing no residue and then bazinga zanga you're done you're ready to put your other epoxy in there so now you just learn how to do a drip cup and how to do this silicone mold with the glitter spreading evenly so, and I'm going to make sure that that hole isn't covered because I obsess over that. And there you go. If you learn something, if you like something, or even if you don't, give this video a thumbs up, please. Y'all have a great night. Be good to everybody. Bye, y'all.